Next up, Safari. We've, in Yosemite, been able to pack all the power of the Safari UI into this single bar. And that means you have more space for your content. Now, of course, you may wonder, what happened to my favorites bar? Well, of course, you can bring that back if you want to, but in Yosemite, you don't really need to, because now, your smart search field, when you click it, shows you all of your favorites right there. And it's also really great for search. So in addition, when you type to get in your smart search suggestions, you also get spotlight suggestions right there in your completion menu. And this means you can get at things faster than ever before. Now, Safari's also more powerful than ever with sharing. So now, if you wanna subscribe to an RSS feed on a site, you can do that right here, and those RSS feed articles will show up right in your Safari sidebar under shared links. And you can also share to people more quickly than ever because Safari lists the people you've messaged with most recently, and with just one click, you can share a web page. Now, Safari is better than ever as well with tabs. We now have a tab view that gives you a bird's eye glance of all of your tabs, and it stacks tabs from uh, sites just like this, so you get individual stacks for each site that you're browsing. Safari is also great when it comes to privacy. Safari was the first browser to introduce private browsing, and now it's easier than ever because you can create a new private window, and when you do, all the content within that window and all its tabs stay private, and all of your other windows are unaffected. It's really handy. Now, Safari is great when it comes to standards. It has WebGL now for super fast 3D graphics, Speedy for efficient networking, and HTML premium video. Now, this enables modern Macs to efficiently stream video from sites like Netflix without a plugin, and the results are awesome. You get up to two hours longer battery life on a MacBook Air streaming Netflix, and that's for 1080p video. Now, Safari has been uh, set the benchmark, really, for energy efficiency since Mavericks, and its lead here continues. When it comes to multi-tab browser energy efficiency, Safari is without equal. And when it comes to the kind of UI manipulations that are typical in web apps, Safari is faster than ever. And how about JavaScript? We'll take the most complex kind of JavaScript that's typical of very rich web applications. Well, Safari now has a fourth tier LLVM-based optimized JavaScript compiler that is the fastest of any major browser. And when it comes to typical website JavaScript, Safari is in a league of its own. So that is Safari. And to give you a quick demo, I'd like to bring up Brian Kroll to the stage. Let's give him a big welcome. Brian. Thanks, Craig. I'm really happy to be here today. Um, so I'm just gonna dive right into Safari. Here we go. It's really great. And when you go to a website, you can really appreciate the new design. It's simpler, and it's even more powerful. I can open up the sidebar really easily to get at my bookmarks, my reading list, as well as my um, shared links. And when I click into the search field, I get instant access to all my favorite sites. It's really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in a search for Ansel Adams, there we go. And if I hit return, I could just go do a regular old Google search. But since Ansel Adams is a common search term, I get this new spotlight suggestion there at the top. It has a snippet of information from Wikipedia. I could read it there, or if I'd like, I could go ahead and see the entire article right on the Wikipedia site. It's super convenient. Now, if you use tabs, you're gonna love this. Now, no matter how many tabs I have open, I can smoothly scroll through them to get at any of that tab I'm looking for. It's really nice. So now, sometimes I wanna see my tabs, so I can go ahead and do this, and I'll click on the new tab view button, and there you go a beautiful bird's eye view of all my open tabs. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one here. 
it's a photo blog with a bunch of pictures of, of Yosemite, and there's a couple good ones of um, El Capitan down below. So I'll find them there, El Capitan. And then I'm gonna choose this one. I wanna share it with Craig, so I'm gonna get the high-res image. Now sharing couldn't be easier uh, in Safari. I just simply click on the share button here, and now I can use the new recent recipients feature to address it to Craig. And here we go. And just one click, I'm ready to send that image. It's that easy. So, but before I send it, I'm gonna add my two cents to this. So I can go here and we have just the right feature called markup. Now with markup, I can edit this image without ever even leaving mail. It's really great. So what I'm gonna do is um, annotate this image with a, a, a nice a magnifying glass, a loop. So as you move it around, you can see that it magnifies everything underneath it. So I'm gonna place it right here. And it turns out that those two specks on the big granite face there, they're actually climbers. It's kind of crazy. So I'm gonna zoom in a little more so you can see it better. There we go. So I can zoom nicely and place it here. Now, I wanna point this out to Craig in the mail. And I can use my trackpad to draw on the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw an arrow here. There we go. And you notice, Markup's smart enough to recognize the arrow and make it really pretty. So now, now it's really easy to add a, um, a comment. So check out the climbers. There we go. Now I can have a little fun with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, create a cartoon bubble. Okay, not so good at drawing, but markup's gonna help me. There we go. So luckily it can clean up, it's better than I am. So now I can add a caption. And so I think I'm gonna appeal to the inner developer in all of us. I'm gonna type in, I hope the rope is, wait for it, multi-threaded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think I've done enough to this picture. Uh, time to go. <laughs> so um, now it's ready for me to mail, and I can just click like that. So that's how easy it is to mark up an image in mail. So those are a couple of great new features in Safari and mail. Thank you.